You're stuck thinking all that matters is training and nutrition and getting in that calorie deficit. But with these powerful tools, you're gonna actually break through those weight loss plateaus. But most importantly, I wanna show you how to do this with easy to implement strategies, a lot of which you can actually start doing today to get you better results faster. And I'm gonna start with the most impactful ones first because, well, I'm a dad of four. Life is chaotic and you need this info fast. So when you can't create more stimulus, i.e training, working out, breaking down muscle to actually build back more, then you need to focus on the other aspect of the weight loss equation. And what is that, you might be asking. This is usually one of the biggest reasons your results can actually be very slow and can really be improved relatively easy. What is this, you might ask? Well, we do it in our bedroom, it's typically at night, and more of it is better. Sleep. What were you thinking? It doesn't matter what you think! So what does sleep have to do with this? It has to do with recovery. Recovery is oftentimes neglected and sleep is the biggest and first place that you need to look. But how can you actually do this easily when sleep is hard to come by? And shout out to all my moms and dads out there. I'm in the trenches with you. First, just prioritize your nighttime routine. Start out by dimming lights. Try to stop eating at least two hours before bed and also try to go to bed and get up at the same time as much as possible. But one of the most important changes that you can actually make is actually just limiting screen time. Limiting screen time about one to two hours before bed is going to massively improve your sleep and I never thought this was the case until I started actually doing it and now when I don't do that I seriously notice a difference your sleep is going to be more interrupted it's going to be harder to get to sleep and just overall the quality is going to be improved when you do this and I know it's hard I struggle with it too but don't worry about it just start small so this of course means staying off your phone your computer and off TV which I know that might be a tough one like I said start small maybe this isn't every night and maybe it's not one to two hours before bed maybe you start with about 15 minutes before bed or not pulling up your phone in bed. Next, remember to do this. But you might actually ask, why? 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 Ugh, creepy. Lowering the temperature of your house and really in particular of your room is going to drastically improve your sleep. Your core body temperature naturally just drops a few degrees to be able to get into a deeper sleep. And it'll drop you into that to get into a deep sleep. And then at certain points, your body will actually start to warm yourself up before dropping back in. And it's correlated with your sleep cycle. But a lot of people tend to sleep with it too warm in the house. I don't know if you've ever slept and you had some weird nightmares. You just felt like you didn't sleep well and you wake up kind of sweaty. That's gonna be one of the reasons why. Also, maybe the fact that I watched that horror movie. Oh wait, no, that was just the news. But let's say that you're like, okay, Dave, I'm already doing those things. Then what? First off, let me congratulate you. If I could reach across the screen, I would shake your hand. There are though other ways to take these concepts and even amp your game even further so that you can get even better recovery or just make it easier. And the number one way that this showed itself in my household was actually just getting a new mattress. My wife and I had a mattress that we had over 12 years ago when we got married. And we loved it at the time, but fairly recently it was becoming awful and sinking in and you had divots and we're like rolling into each other and you just didn't sleep well. Every morning I'd wake up and my back hurt. Messed up my sleep for both of us. So what we did is actually got a Helix sleep mattress. Now Helix, no, is not a sponsor, but I highly recommend them because we have loved our Helix sleep mattress. Super comfortable, it was just the right firmness. I sleep like a baby on it. Granted, I'm still up in the middle of the night at times with kids, but when I do hit the mattress, I do sleep really well. And on top of that, their price point is actually pretty good. And my little tip is wait for a little Memorial Day or Labor Day sale or something like that. Now on top of that, what you can actually do is Sure, you got a good mattress, great. What about that sleeping environment? Keeping things cool. My wife is always cold. I am always hot. That makes for problems at night because she wants to be near me or adding on the blankets and warming up and I'm sitting here like ripping blankets off me because I'm too hot. So if that's the case, you can actually get something like an eight sleep. Like I mentioned, we need to be sleeping in that colder environment and what this does, it's fascinating. It actually cools your mattress. It's a pad that'll go right on your mattress and it can be programmed and it'll actually learn your sleeping habits and your sleep cycles because it'll cool you down at first so you can get right to sleep, stay asleep, then it'll start to warm up and follow that sleep cycle. And in the morning, you don't even need an alarm. All you got to do is have it set to wake you up at a certain time and then 
the cooling mattress will start to heat up and you wake up by yourself, which sounds amazing. No screaming alarm. One additional way that you can actually improve your sleep is also by getting a, any type of fit tracker, whether it be a, a whoop, an aura ring, or something like that that can actually track your sleep and give you a sleep score. Now, some people have a difficult time and they get too hyper fixated on this and it'll actually cause their sleep to suffer. But if it's something that you can actually compete with yourself and test, okay, how well did I sleep that night? What was my score? What was my score? It's going to motivate you then to get a better score the following night. And that can actually massively impact your sleep. Now, one additional thing that you can do in terms of sleep is actually helping you with that screen time, that blue light. Might be difficult to say no to that TV show at night or when the kids are finally in bed and you want a few minutes alone with your spouse or just scrolling on your phone trying to get to all the last text messages that you may have missed throughout the entire day. But if that's the case, then opt for something like a blue light blocking a pair of glasses. All recommendations point to the Felix Grey glasses. Now you can get a bunch of these off Amazon. Some of them are cheap. They probably aren't that good quality, but I do know that Felix Greys do meet the standards that they actually put out there. Remember this, that small tweaks will lead to giant peaks. No, I did not coin that phrase, but I wish I did. Now, do you actually find yourself ever saying, uh, I need another cup. I'm dragging. I just want to go back to bed. My wife has actually been feeling exhausted lately. Of course, if you knew our life, you would probably say, well, Dave, you've got four kids. That makes sense. Of course you're exhausted. <laughs> but honestly, our sleep has actually been improving. The baby's not waking up as much. And my wife actually has been increasing calories, building strength, and all signs would indicate that her energy should actually be increasing. However, every day she's still struggling. This left her really wondering what on earth the problem was until I had her make one tiny change. If your energy is lacking, you're going to struggle to train, let alone lose weight and put on muscle. Now, there's a ton of areas that you can actually look at in order to boost your energy, but I believe that we've really got to start small. Start with the small things that you can easily tweak that are going to get you a ton of benefit behind those small changes. And here's how you can actually do this very easily, like even right now, like right now. Like as soon as I tell you what to do, I want you to pause the video and do this next step. What does your water intake actually look like? Did you know that drinking water can actually massively impact your energy levels? Our bodies kinda need water. So just make sure to drink enough water. And now of course the question is, what's enough? Well, all I want you to do is just keep water with you. Did you pause? Did you press, 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 press the pause. Come here, hold on. Now in order to do that for myself, I actually bought this wonderfully large glass water bottle and it's got a nice outer protective case but i absolutely love it always have water with you and just keep drinking it when you think you're hungry just start with some water first now also your electrolyte levels could also be low you got to remember that we need vital minerals to actually be able to function at our best and most of the time, and particularly if you're eating on the healthier side, meaning like you're eating majority whole foods, you're probably very low in these vital minerals. Things like sodium, potassium, magnesium, and several others, but those are the main ones. So in order to do that, I love using things like Arbonne's Hydration. This is super tasty, super good, something fun to drink, helps me not feel hungry, but it's also giving me those nutrients. Or I also love Elementide, highly recommend them, highly recommend them as well. They've got some delicious flavors. My favorite actually happens to be the raspberry and the watermelon. Orange salt is also really good, as is the citrus salt. And now finally, there's also an option from Key Nutrients. My family has used these even for my kids as well. They taste good and they're something you can throw into your water, get those nutrients, and also enjoy drinking something. Now back to my wife's story. So you, so you, so you. What was that? Back into it. So you thought I left you hanging, didn't you? But that was actually my wife's problem. I had her start drinking an element tea each day and it made a huge difference. Now there is of course one more step that you can do today that's gonna start giving you energy right away and it's now been backed by research. And simply by using these. Just have resistance bands laying around your house. Now I know, it's messy. My house is already a mess anyway, so we don't even need to worry about that. It's just a little bit more adding to the chaos. But just a few minutes of resistance band work with high reps, low intensity, and it's awesome for increasing energy. And they've done studies that have shown even just by squeezing your grip for a certain amount of time will actually cause a boost in energy and more cognitive ability. It'll give you a mental boost. It feels good. It's some additional volume for your body and it's gonna help work those muscles that may or may not be sore and it's actually gonna help you recover faster on top of that. But the key here 
is I want you to keep it in small doses. Remember, two to five minutes shouldn't be wasted or sweating or breathing heavy. It should just feel good. Now, I love these encased resistance bands. I've had ones that were not encased and let me tell you, they deteriorate pretty fast and I don't want to worry of a whole liver king situation going on. I have them around the doorknob. Boom, 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 snap. It comes off the anchor point. So I have actually bought three or four of these bags and I've got some resistance bands around the house just so it's really easy. They're there, I can just pick them up as I walk into a room. But once those areas are addressed and if your energy is still struggling, there's one more thing that you might actually wanna consider. That's actually getting your hormones checked because this could come down to your hormones actually being off if you're really struggling. And for that, I would highly recommend a naturopath, functional medicine practitioner, but I've actually got a couple of re recommendations for you. A Wellness Way Clinic, or Mind Pump actually works with Stephen Cabral, who's another functional medicine practitioner. They would be able to actually test your hormones to see where the issues may be lying. And a lot of times it stems from your gut microbiome. But getting to the root of these issues is, is actually gonna feel like night and day. But the downside though is that this is a lot of money and time investment, but it's insanely valuable for longevity and for your health. And as a lot of people will say, you either pay now or you're gonna pay later. But you still might be wondering, that can't be it. And if you ask that, you would be right. Because there's more that you need to know if you wanna get there faster. Now most people get on a diet but it tends to be an all or nothing approach. And oftentimes they just feel really deprived on that diet because typically those diets tend to be kind of strict. And that strictness is going to cause you to feel deprived. And when you feel deprived, it's gonna be therefore way easier to just get off track. You feel like you mess up your eating and you just completely feel like you've lost all your progress. But there's actually one big reason why this happens to you. And as soon as you fix it, you're going to make huge progress and fast without actually feeling deprived. I believe that our nutrition has to be sustainable. So therefore you've got to include things that are going to allow you to enjoy life Life and make it sustainable for you so that you can keep doing it. So for instance, in my own nutrition, that's why I allow myself and include in my nutrition plan the ability to be able to eat some ice cream occasionally and also to be able to have a pizza night with my family. But that might actually be difficult for some people depending on the amount of muscle that you actually build. Because remember, muscle burns fat. <laughs> so the more muscle you have, you're actually gonna be able to burn more calories, giving you more flexibility to be able to do these types of things. So if you feel like that's not possible for you or if you just really wanna be on point with your calories, but you still wanna be able to have fun things to eat without having to eat the actual higher calorie, lower quality options, here are some ideas. I want you to use something like a magic spoon. Now magic spoon blew me away the first time I tried it. I had heard people talk about it, heard it said that it tasted exactly like your childhood favorite, your favorite childhood cereals. They weren't lying. <laughs> In particular, the magic spoon maple waffle literally tastes like my favorite cereal as a kid, Waffle Crisp. I don't know if you guys remember that. Hit like or drop me a comment if you remember it. That was my jam. But the awesome thing about Magic Spoon is it's going to give you protein instead of just being a bunch of carbs and sugar. And it's actually zero sugar on top of the fact that it has a bunch of protein that's going to satiate you more. Now the other thing you can do is just to make sure you have a really good tasting protein powder. And for me, I highly recommend Arbon. Arbon has some great, amazing flavors that taste phenomenal. Or I also love to include Ancient Bone Broth Nutrition Protein Powder. What I love about that one is actually that the taste, the taste is good, but the best part about it is actually just the texture that it adds to your shake and it can make it like you're drinking, like you're drinking an actual smoothie or like an, an iced cappuccino. Now, if you're like me and you are really wanting ice cream, but a lot of times you don't want to go with the lower quality option or maybe it's got just too many calories, so you can actually make your own ice cream and it's actually fairly simple. I'm gonna drop a recipe for a cookie dough ice cream that my wife has made that is phenomenal, truly good. And I was blown away because my wife and I got this ice cream maker that is super helpful and allows you to be able to do this really easily. Now, a lot of people tell me that they love to have their cup of coffee and of course, with a cup of coffee comes some creamer. But if you don't wanna shortchange your sleep because you want that you want that coffee taste, you want that, that sweet kick at night. A lot of people enjoy that later in the afternoon or in the evening, but it's going to affect your sleep. Therefore going all the way back to the beginning of what we were talking about and harming your ability to sleep and recover. So I have an option for you and it's called Daisy Blend Coffee. So it's basically a dandelion root tea 
but it doesn't have the caffeine and there's also got a ton of other micronutrients and, and benefits from drinking dandelion root, which I know sounds weird, but I'm telling you, it almost tastes like a cappuccino. And for me, a lot of times you don't even need to add creamer for this daisy blend, but sometimes I still will add a splash because it just, you don't even need much and it just adds a ton. And you can drink that at night and really enjoy that coffee flavor without it affecting your sleep and having less calories on the creamer. Order another option. I know what it was called. <sighs> Krista, what's, what's that coffee that whatever? Ticino? Ticino. I've already forgot. T what? Ticino? I forgot the name of Ticino and I ran upstairs to ask my wife what it was called. It's in my notes, behind the screen. Behind the screen, guys, it's in my notes. Now another one is actually Ticino, which is another dandelion root blend. There's a few other things in it that my wife loves. And this is one that you can actually brew. The Daisy Blend Coffee is one that you can actually, it's like a powder, you can just mix it in with hot water and you're good to go. Super simple, super easy. But my wife actually loves this Ticino and she does brew it like a typical coffee. We use a French press, love this French press and actually makes it like regular coffee and it's phenomenal. And it's a, it's a softer, milder flavor and it's nowhere near as acidic as coffee is. So I'm telling you, you're gonna love this. All right, now one additional way that you can also still enjoy all the other foods while still getting enough micronutrients because a lot of times if you're using the calories for lower quality foods, you're missing out on some of those micronutrients. And when you're eating lower calorie, that's even more important. So in order to offset that, what I would highly recommend is having a greens powder. It's another fun thing to drink and yes, Believe it or not, it can be a fun thing to drink. It's enjoyable and it's gonna give you a bunch of those micronutrients and greens that are going to help support your body's weight loss and muscle building. So for me, my first go-to is always the Arbonne's Greens Powder. Or another option that a lot of people love is the AG1 or Organifi has a very highly recommended greens powder as well. Now, if you wanna feel stuck though, just you know, keep on moving. But if you really do want to see your body change, just start with one of the things that I have mentioned and actually invest in your health. I promise you, you won't regret it. And as always, be intentional, bring the intensity. I immensely appreciate you. Thank you for being here and I'll see you on the next video.